by car. It's nothing short of an obstacle course, and residents claim it's been that way for many years. There are holes here that are 17 feet square, and I'm not kidding. You see the depth of some of these holes is like a foot deep. I don't think that anybody in Trinidad would like to live in a place like this. This is where I born and grew up, and as far as I can remember, we always have this kind of road. We always have to beg and come out here and protest and we still don't get it done, but we're not giving up. That's why on Thursday morning they strategically blocked eight points of entry to this main artery, calling on the government to prioritize repairs to this stretch of roadway. They say it has a devastating impact on the pockets of every person who has to drive on this road daily. But vehicle maintenance is not the only debilitating effect. How terrible the, the road is, how deep the potholes are, and it is de not just one area, I'll tell you, this is Grants Road, it has Silver Stream, it has Delay Road, it has Dow Village, it has Nienta Trace, it is very bad. And from people who do business with us, who is out of this area, San Fernando and further other parts of the country, choose not to venture to come and do business with us because of the fact the road are impassable on, sometimes. When rain falls on this particular spot here, here is flooded. The area's UNC councillor says Grants Road falls within the PNM held Labre constituency. He says he's written to the Woods Ministry numerous times without feedback over the last four years. So do you think it's political organization? Well, I, I, it seems so. It seems so. Because for the election, parts of point four, they would have been with PS State. And they didn't touch as well. Look at the condition of the social channel. Go, this is not little little lock, no, no. This goes to the highway. And while police were called out to stop Thursday's protests, residents are threatening to continue if the ministry does not respond to their situation soon. Cindy Rabubati, Singh, TV6 News.